it, it appears we have a special guest in the studio. I just honestly just looked up, and Damon Albarn's here with a cake. Oh, I think, yeah, look, I'm cake. slightly moist. Yeah, I did, I'm I, I slightly moist of eye, I must admit. I, was, I don't know after 25 years that they could have done slightly something slightly more. <laughs> well, it's not cake, but nonetheless, it's a cake. Oh man, how are you? I'm all right. Yeah, thank you. Are you busy? Of course you are. You're always busy. You yeah, never stop working. I don't know. I don't know how you can find the time no, to come I'm here. Just, I'm just like everybody else. I work for a living. You know. Yeah. So what have you been up to with? Uh, well, firstly, with hello. I, well, firstly, firstly, well, I didn't know you. I didn't know you'd had a kid. Yes, yes, yeah. I mean, because I've seen you in the last two years, but you didn't. No one's told me, and I've only kind of briefly sort of waved at you when I've been coming through the building. Yeah. You yeah. had a kid. I, brilliant. I know. Yeah, the Lamac Daddy. So I mean, what's, that, what's I mean, her name? Uh, Elizabeth, oh. Liz- Lizzie Memphis Lamac, yeah, oh. yeah, it's strange. I don't know when when you when you became a dad. Did you start thinking uh, how far ahead did you start thinking in the, in terms of musical education? Because well, on the one hand, she really loves the grand old uh, Duke of York, right. and on the other hand, at times she will turn around uh, to the good Doctor Jen uh, and she will say to her. Can we listen to Daddy's music? Right. And we play uh, idols and things like that. So oh, yeah. it's, it's really good. I mean, it's, amazing. it's an amazing It's hard thing, to yeah. tell it to what, <laughs> what they're going to turn out like. I mean, you know, um, uh, I think I mean, I've been very lucky with my daughter. She's, she's got really, she's got decent musical taste. And it's yeah. got nothing, it's more a mum who plays music. Because I'm kind of sort of... You know, if you're if you're in the studio all day, and then I don't necessarily want to no. play music when I yeah. get home. Yeah. I mean, I do listen to music when I go home. Yeah, but I like to sort of listen to music in the day. Yeah, that's, um, which is kind of weird. I don't really like doing. I don't really like making music at night anymore. It's I like I. I Sort of gets earlier and earlier that I start, yeah. and earlier and earlier that I finish. I've got, I've got to say, uh, that, I mean, when when I, when I get home, first thing in the morning before I start listening to music. So I'll I don't know what your working hours are, but I'll start about nine nine thirty. But before that, I quite quite That's, fancy a bit of Radio Four. Oh, I'm quite that. happy listening to the Arches on the way home I, now I, after I finish I, I work. I wait to Radio Four and and enter the. Uh, what have we become? <laughs> how we've changed. Well, I know, eh? I've always listened to Radio 4. I listened to Radio yeah, so 4 when I was a kid. Fair, I mean, yeah. I, I certainly wouldn't listen to Radio 1. <laughs> Our brother's in the big building over the road. It's just, well, it's you, just, it's just inhabited by idiots. Well, I tell you what, they've got... Very, I mean, not all of them, obviously, no, and that means... I mean, mind you, I haven't been played on Radio 1 for 10 years, so I shouldn't... Do you know... Why, what, why should I care? We were, eva- we, were evacu- we were evacuated from this it building the other day. It's what they... Uh, I much prefer Radio 6. Thanks very much for the plug. Damon Albarn there. And uh, all these records are genuinely great. And uh, we've known each other now for... We have. I was trying to... I was 20, trying... 12, well, it would be 90... 90, 90, I mean, 1990 or 89? 89, 90, somewhere around there when we first... Um... Bumped into each other. Yeah, I was trying to think. What, did we meet for the first time in Colchester in the Hole in the Wall? Hole in the Wall. There you go. And the, but the first time. But after that, I have gotten I've gotten no anecdotes. So you're going to have to, <laughs> you're going to have to lead on this one. I do you know. You don't remember the first time I came to see you as Seymour was mm-hmm. at um, and it's just around the corner from where I live now. Strangely enough, was at the Cricketers, the Oval yes. Cricketers. Tiny little stage, yeah. long room, tiny little stage at the uh, at the end of it. And I loved those gigs. Well, the, the, they were so exciting because uh, we had um, we had we were really lucky in the sense that we had uh, we had like uh, friends from Goldsmiths Art School, and my sister was at Hornsey, so we had like two group of art students. Yeah. Uh, who would come to all our gigs? <laughs> so we had a ready-made, cool-looking audience, which was right. really handy when people like, um, you know, <laughs> yourself came, yeah, came yeah. along, and, comes uh, to, yeah. uh, and they and they say, "Oh, kids like this band. We yeah. should write about them." Or oh, I, I yeah. presume that's. Does it work like that anymore? I don't know. Well, do you see, with no oh, music are... posts at the centre of uh, the music scene, it's, it's, think... not, it's not like that anymore, is it? Because because everything is is I don't know, propagated in an entirely different way. Well, just as you were walking, I was just about to play a track by a band called Yak. 
And right. Yak are one of those bands who would uh, are sort of you now, really, I suppose. Right. Although, have you seen Shame? Have you seen the band Shame? No. South London band Shame? No. If they're not a sort of you when you were starting out then i don't know kind of i'm gonna go out to some more gigs because because i'm i'm my my daughter's flying the nest tomorrow i'm going with taking her she's going to new york in fact uh so it's all god time time flies doesn't it i know you're at the beginning of that that kind of wonderful adventure of fatherhood and i'm kind of sort of at the the next stage of it which is kind of weird i didn't didn't realise that that's what happens. They they leave. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I just kind of got used to it. You know what I mean? That was our life all together. Yeah. And now, yeah. So I'm a bit heartbroken about that. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, you know, I've, I'm happy for her because I think it's going to be really good. great. Friend. And going out, what? Going yeah. over there to to work? Is she? To or be is an it? intern. Yeah. To be an intern. So yeah. What? Uh, just, uh, without that's giving too much away, in any particular field, is it music? It, kind of. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's nice in a way. And yeah. I'm, uh, and I'll be back over there in a couple of weeks because I'm playing with Grillers in New York. So. Oh yeah. So it won't be too long. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> and I have to find another excuse to go there. So we backstage going, no, Dad, can, going, you, Dad can, can you stop coming here, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there was a reason why I left. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you what. By, by that point, and the pr- the price the price of the steaks will be, Dad. You couldn't spot us forty dollars, could you? you? Got hundred dollars. Oh well, that's hey, okay. I mean, you know, we'll always have, be of some use. I mean, at, at the moment though, I mean, once you've got to this this stage, I mean, it feels like the the ideas are still coming thick and fast. Do you, I mean, do you do you still get that thing late at night where you think? Oh God! Song in my head. I must. I'm, I'll write this. Down. I'll do it tomorrow morning when I get in the studio. I, I mean, I try to write every day. I mean, yeah. I, I, I didn't write. I haven't written today because I got a really bad hangover because Jamie came over from Jamie, who I work with, with Gorillas. Yeah, he came over uh, last night, and also Paul Simonon. We were just because we've just we've finished the new Good, the Bad, and the Queen, uh, and it's coming out. Or am I allowed to say when it's coming out? I'm not allowed to say when it's coming out. But it's coming. It's coming out really. Well, it's sp- finished. It's really. It's finished, and I'm really, really, really excited about it. In the sense that you know, it's it's going to be so nice after been doing Gorillas for two years, yeah. which is, it's. It's incredible. It's an incredible thing, but it's there is there is a point from which musically it can't sort of develop in a live sense because it's yes, all so it so tied structured. into the visuals. Yeah. yeah. So 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 a band like the Good Band the Queen with Tony Allen on drums is just a joy for that that aspect. Yeah. And it's a record that I've I, I know I'm I'm well. You'll hear it, I'm sure, and you can make your own mind up. I'm so is it, I'm really it's, proud of it. So it's a sort of live rootsiness of it, is it? Uh, yeah, it's all live. Yeah. It was all it was all live, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just there's just this fabulous musicians to work with. Yeah, really great. Yeah, I think. and you know Simon Tong, who's uh, you know he just literally just, just doesn't seem to be able to to play a bad note. Yeah, just, and, and and when you so do, like, obviously like working with people like that. <laughs> He's sort of up there. He's not. He's, he's not. He's not as technically gifted as Graham, um, and he's not as sort of bizarre as Graham sometimes with, with his guitar, which is. But he's he's got a lovely feel as well. So I think after Graham, he's my, he's my favourite guitarist to play with. Because in a, in, a, in a sense, I mean, in, in both in both those uh, cases, I suppose with Gorilla Sands, Good the Bad, you, you end up being not a conductor. But you, you you can sort of almost take a step back and let people we'll have to write feel it, it first. Well, <laughs> yeah, you well, know. you've got to write it. Yeah. But then, but then with something like Good, the Bad, and the Queen, then yeah. surely the rest of them just take it and lollop it's away. It's the sound. It's the sound. And literally, yeah. I mean, we haven't played for ten years together, so and right. as soon as we started, it just sounded like like that band. I mean, it's just something yeah. about that combination. Yeah. So I feel really fortunate to have sort of, I mean, to have had two bands that. That have, have that di- have so distinctive when the people are in the room playing. Yeah. No. But is no. that? I mean, and is that is that why it's working? Do you think? Th- th- I suppose the choices you made of people, there was an inkling that there would be that sort of chemistry between you, because that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, you it? don't. You, I mean, I try. I try to work with, with the right people. You know, mm. pe- people who I get on with and have a good feel and are sort of are doing it because they they love they love it. You know, mm. not. Yeah. 
any other reason. Here, here, here's something. Um, I, I think we probably touched on this before. Certainly during the course of this past week, I thought it. Do you wake up sometimes thinking, we're still getting away with this, no one's caught up with us yet? How old are you? <laughs> Sorry to ask that one. Just... <laughs> How old Naturally, are you? No. I'm 50. I'm 53. Oh, you're a bit older than me. Yeah. Just a little bit older than yeah. me. Yeah. I'll be bus passed up three years <laughs> ahead of you. Well, Do you know what I mean? We'll be, we'll be oh, up and down blimey. North Hill. Uh, it's, in, it's shocking, really. Where did it all go? <laughs> I, still have this, I still have this ambition that sooner or you know, at some point, uh, there'll, be, there'll be a few of us, me and one or two journalist mates and one or two friends that I've made through music, and we'll all be living in this big home just outside of Colchester, Wakes kind of chapel somewhere like that, uh, and there'll be musicians turning up who are the same age in a you know bent, a beat up old van. Yeah, and uh, I mean, we'll have this brilliant we're all gonna, we're festival all be for the over seventies. Old people's home together. Yeah, that's what I yeah. think. I, I mean, think that's it a might happen. Yeah, that's a TV series right there. Yeah, uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> no. I've, I've, Can you I've been working with the same a lot of the same people since. I mean, a little, uh, a little later than Seymour, but from, like, the first Blur kind of tour, I've still got a lot of the same crew, and it's uh, yeah. it's like a family. It's, And I don't know what what any of us would do without each other, to be honest with you. I think we, we'll have to live, be in an old people's yeah. home together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you... And when... So... Is but, that, but, you, but, but, but I'd like to think we've got a few years still. Yeah, well... I mean, I'm not throwing my chips in yet. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. If you're listening upstairs, I'm, I'm still I mean, looking for that know, new contract. God willing. Yeah. God willing. I'm still happy to hang around for a bit. Uh, no, it's yeah, I'm, uh, but it is. We're very lucky. I think that's that's the point. I you're funny. Like it's it. very funny, aren't you, Helen? <laughs> Helen's one of the assistants on the program. She's. Are you all right? Yeah. There? yeah. Yeah. yeah, in stitches. <laughs> Listen to the old ones. <laughs> this is you do realise this is going out on radio. <laughs> these, two, yeah, these two, these two, oh, these two old. Sorry, these, I wasn't these aware two we were on radio. <laughs> sorry. Um, what's, I shouldn't have said that about what, Radio 1 then, should I, really? <laughs> what's, um, what, what do you miss when you're not working or you're not with other people in a band? Do, I like represent like radio as well. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I like Radio 6, Represent Radio, and Radio 4. A bit of Radio 3 as well. Right. There's there's all the plugs that you need. Yeah. Um, and and obviously Five Live. And obviously Five Live. Um, what's... Uh, so... What, what, what's... I don't, I don't mind... I don't mind Animac. I like Animac. So I like the... I, I will occasionally listen in the... Uh, in the but it's that daytime stuff and that morning stuff. No way. Not even... Um, there's no, a new, no, there's there's a new no morning fella now. Have you heard Greg James? He's on in the mornings now, uh, Greg. Really? Yeah, he's a nice bloke. Is he's he? got quite. I'm a not saying they're not nice also. people. I'm yeah. just saying it's just the sort of it's the it, 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 it's the the subjects that they kind of sort of muse on. The, their daily musings are a little sort of confusing to me. Well, so. <laughs> I've never thought I'd say this live on air to Damon Albarn. It's not for us, though, is it? Really? No, we're it's not for us. Self-evidently. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything? Is there anything you've been particularly listening to recently? Because um, obviously, you you've heard and brought to people a lot of music from around the world. Really, I mean, do you do you still look for something to discover? And what have you been into over the last year? Ah. Oh, um... Well, I finally, finally, and this sounds ridiculous, but I've kind of sort of been, I've been kind of lost in a, a te technological sort of uh, vacuum where I haven't been able to play my music. I've got thousands and thousands of CDs. Mm. Uh, and I've just managed to find a CD player. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous, but I've actually managed to find one that I like. Yeah. Now I've got that, right. and finally I've got someone who's starting to kind of archive and organise myself. So I'm back in. I'm back in the listening game, which right. is, which um, is really nice. So I've been discovering some amazing music I didn't know I had. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the last thing I listened to was this incredible. Um, a uh, kind of Sufi order of of singers in southern Sudan. Uh, it's just amazing, blew my mind. And I've been listening to a lot of like early um, 
American vocal groups like Alphabetical 4, Radio 4, funnily enough. Yeah, yeah. I've been listening to Radio 4 and Radio 4. 4. <laughs> What's when 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 you when you look back? I, I mean, I've been handed this task this week. You know, just not what, maybe. So not, what is this all about? So you've been you have been 20, on radio for twenty five years. Twenty five years since I signed uh, the first contract. Uh, myself and Joe White, we got a one year contract. We were taken into. I saw Joe. Office. I saw Joe quite recently. She is was it? with. Uh, uh, she was on radio too. Yes, she is on Radio 2. Oh, she, she is. She was, yeah. It's not a was. She is. <laughs> no, she is. Oh. As far as I know, okay. unless unless something, a coup's been staged in the in the last 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, on Radio, yeah, on radio 2 with yeah, Simon Actually, I remember now. She said she, said she was going to bring her boy over to the studio, but that hasn't materialised. Oh, yeah, do you know what Joe wants? It's like, yeah, I'll be over. No, but she asked, and I said, yeah, yeah come over. All right. I've so I mean, if you see her, just say the off, uh, invitation. Officer, still, officer still there. Still, yeah. Excellent. Um, I've been asked this week uh, quite a lot about things that I've done in the past. When, when you go back, it's probably impossible, really, to pick out even, you know, three or four moments, but things that... Turning points, because when I, when I was doing this list, so I had to do a list of 25 songs for 25 years. And some of the things which, did you know, you remember... Did a certain, I make it on years. it? No. Yeah, you did. Of course you did. Tender's in there. Of course it is. Well, I, it's not, I wouldn't assume that. No, well, t- Tender's in it. But one of the things uh, <clears throat> that I always come back to is the year you reformed. You played the gig at Chaplain Waits Cone train station. Yeah. And then you did Glastonbury. You did Brixton Academy, sort of friends. That was our family. first ever gig as well. Was was was, was, it, that, was that the train? Yeah. yeah. And um, and then you did Glastonbury that year, which yeah. I still think is one of the most powerful and emotional yes. sets I've ever seen you yes. play. I think, and I've obviously yes. seen you a lot. Over no, the years. I mean that 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 knocked me for six. That one, I I was. You look like you were in tears. At yeah, the I end. was. Yeah. yeah, I definitely was. I don't, I don't, that doesn't happen often because no. I mean you do you. You know, you get used to um, you get used to that sort of that scale mm. in a way. Um, now I had one recently as well, which was a bit like oh, uh, Boomtown with Gorillas this year. Yeah, unbelievable. That had the same feeling for me. Really? Yeah. It's, 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 there's something that happens in 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 summer in with the light in England that I just sort of. It, w- w- when it kind of happens, it's just, it's, just, it's it's not always the best day. It's yeah. just, but there's something about when it just as it turns to that kind of sort of dark, darkest blue, and you can still see a few clouds and trees, and I don't, I don't know. It's 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 very magical. Uh, different, a different, a different experience, but of the same family of experiences. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm so lucky to have, ha, ha, you know, been part of that, those kind of crowds yeah. on a few occasions. Yeah. I've been very lucky. Both been very lucky, man. Look, we'll play some gorillas. Um, thank you. Um, for but coming but, in. but, but uh, I'll be doing like really small sort of work, work, working man clubs with Good, the Bad, and the Queen somewhere up in the north. Really? Yeah. Is that the plan? That's yeah. how it starts, yeah. Yeah? I have to say that. I have no. said it, that doesn't matter. Really, does it? <laughs> no, you can't say uh, it back. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, yeah. When we say small, two, three hundred, four hundred, that sort of thing. That's all, though, like 150. Man, that'll be great. Yeah, man. I know. We're, we're, the last time and we're, we're, we're travelling in a splitter. <laughs> Which and I, I honestly haven't been in a splitter van since like 1989, 1990, <laughs> early 1990. You know, well, it's either like, it's going to be the making of you, yeah. or the destruction of well, that van. I really? Think, Have you, you know. told the rest of the band you're going in a splitter? Uh, well, kind of. You know. <laughs> no, I think I think if I mean I, see that's the lovely thing about it. It doesn't really matter. You can kind of sort of. You know, life can have life can take you into some sort of really extreme heights and lows. But I think what really kind of sort of excites me, honestly, is is just playing playing with people. So it doesn't really matter if you're in a yeah a splitter van. Although Tony is like pushing seventy eight, so. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen a more sprightly, yeah. engaged 78-year-old in my life. He's extraordinary. I mean, he's ridiculous. He puts us all to shame. And Paul, you know. Yeah. He's 
a miracle as well, really. We're looking forward to it. Good, the bad, the return of the good, the bad, good, and the, ba- the good, the bad, and the, the, good, the, the, the good, the bad, and the OAPs. <laughs> <laughs> Damon Elbarn, our surprise <laughs> guest uh, on the program. Well, listen, congratulations. Thank you. Thank Lovely you very to see much. you. Bless and uh, here's your cake. Uh, thank you I know you much. probably won't eat it. <laughs> I'll give but, it a go. And fantastic. Uh, you know, I just want to say congratulations on becoming a father and all of that. Stuff. Bless you. I'm very and now I'm going to go home and weep. <laughs> God bless the lot of us. <laughs> yeah.